Today we're going to start creating our ceramic paint brushes. For this project, you'll make a paintbrush out of clay. On a different day, you'll get to choose the colors you want your paintbrush to be. Today we will make it and then your clay will dry. After it dries, we will get to fire it and after it has gone in the kiln one time, then we get to talk about decorations. To get started, you're going to get a piece of clay. Miss Bergman will make this clay nice and flat for you so that you do not have to do a whole bunch of work to make it thinner. This is called a slab. When a piece of clay is really flat, artists can use it to cut a whole bunch of different things. I'm going to make my slab big enough so that I can fit my paintbrush on top and then I'm gonna hold my skewer nice and straight up and down, and I'm gonna push all the way through to trace my paintbrush. Go slow and hold your paintbrush in place as you trace. To get your paintbrush out, you'll need to peel away some of the extra clay, but try to keep it flat because we'll use it for some details later. Whenever we cut clay, it usually has a rough edge to it. So you'll need to use a little bit of water on your finger to rub around the edges of your paintbrush to make it smooth instead of or sharp and jagged. We're going to cut another piece of clay for the details of our paintbrush. I'm going to lay my paintbrush on and use it as a template so I know how big my piece should be. And then I'm going to create a rectangle by making two straight lines. Right now, it looks like it's a little bit too big and a little bit too fat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna use my fingers to tap it to make it skinnier. And then I'll check my size on my paintbrush. Looking good. It got a little bit bumpy, so I'm gonna smooth out that line with my uh, skewer and then I'll cut it to size. Check it again, looks great. Whenever artists join two pieces of clay together, they have to remember to score and slip before they stick. Today, if you want your paintbrush to stay together, you need to make sure you don't just lay one piece on top of the other. You need to add a little bit of moisture to create some liquid clay. That's called slip. I'm gonna make some scratchy lines or texture to help get my clay to glue together. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more water, tap, 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 before I put that piece on top. I'm using my finger to push that piece on so it's nice and stuck. And then I'm using my finger to smooth out the clay and make sure it's attached well. I can use my skewer to lightly draw some lines to give more detail to my paintbrush. I can use my bamboo skewer to make it look like there is hair on the bottom. Make sure if you are adding texture or detail, you're not pushing too hard. I'm lightly using my bamboo skewer instead of pushing as hard as I did when I was cutting my paintbrush shape out. So be careful that you're not being in incredible Hulk mode when you add those details. I'm gonna take a couple more minutes just to smooth things out with a wet finger and make sure everything looks right. And if I'm feeling good about my paintbrush, the final step is to go ahead and bring your paintbrush to Miss B. Miss B will poke some holes into the bottom so that we'll have room for our yarn. Your extra clay can go back into a ball and you can go ahead and give it to Miss B. Today we want to try our best to finish our whole paintbrush. But if you don't get finished before class is over, you can grab a Ziploc baggie and a Sharpie. Write your name on the baggie and write your class code. Then you can go ahead and you can take whatever you have done for today and put it inside the baggie. Make sure you're careful when you pick it up and push it all the way down to the bottom of the bag and tap and rub the air towards the top of the bag to get as much out as possible. You don't need to worry about zipping that bag, just go ahead and give it to Miss Bergman 
and make sure your extra clay is given to her too. Do not put it in your bag. <laughs>